This week, we've been discussing the importance of monitoring your surroundings to help construct a sense of situational awareness by observing the environment, assessing the scene, and doing a safety check, and identifying resources or gaps in resources. So, Jessica, have you ever found yourself in an unsafe situation? Absolutely. Sometimes you arrive to be uh, to help in a crisis situation. So for me, I'm an anesthesiologist. I arrive to a difficult airway and a code resuscitation. I might not be able to physically get from where I am entering a small room to the head of the bed. Well, so like, what do you do in that situation? You need to have the voice. You need to recognize the issue. And you need to actually tell people when they physically need to move to get you by or decide to drop your equipment and be able to articulate to others in the room what equipment they need to pass because okay. not all of it might make it to the way, to the head of the bed for the mm -hmm. patient. Good point. To prepare for the next activity, let's watch a scene from our crisis scenario. In this scene, you're going to see a trauma room, the room where emergency medical crisis situations are managed. Use your powers of observation to take stock of what you see in the room Consider any safety issues you notice and start building a list of resources that you have or might be missing. Write down as many things as you can to help with the following activity.